Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to A Conversation with Mr. Rabbit, which is an RPG Maker game from the creator of Dab on the Darkness and Sakia Dabs, where you have a dialogue with a rabbit, and there may or may not be a dark bloody twist. Hello, Mr. Rabbit. Hello, human. Mr. Rabbit, I brought you some carrots. I hope they're to your liking. Thank you, human. That's very nice of you. You're very welcome, Mr. Rabbit. I hope you have that this small token of peace will have you consider having a conversation with me. Then, human, I can tell there is something greatly afflicting you. You are indeed correct, Mr. Rabbit. How did you know? Nature's creations have a very keen sense that allows us to perceive things humans may not so easily see. Rabbits are no exception. It seems we could learn a thing or two from your kind, Mr. Rabbit. Then, that may be so. Human, I ask you again. What has been afflicting you so harshly? Then, a thousand pardons, Mr. Rabbit. But it's been extremely hard to talk about what has been afflicting me. There is no need to rush, human. Take your time to gather your thoughts. I shall be waiting patiently for you to find your words. Thank you, Mr. Rabbit. I... I am just having trouble coming to terms with what's been going in my life. Mr. Rabbit, my heart feels extremely heavy, and it feels like it's an effort to breathe. Human, I do not sense any grave injuries on you. You appear to be fine on the outside. Mr. Rabbit, that is correct. Indeed, there is no physical harm to me or my internals. But there is harm to my doki doki and soul. Human, I understand now. Is your heart heavy, and you're breathing hard, because of an emotional injury? Correct again, Mr. Rabbit. These conditions I am facing are most troublesome to bear. There is no medicine or healing po potion that can make this pain go away. Human, it is okay to feel troubled like this. Emotional pain can be harder to heal than a physical wound. Mr. Rabbit, I... Could really use some rest. Then let us lay down in this little garden for a thousand years and then be human. Rest, human. You need it. Oh, hey, it's my dream. I don't mean like metaphysical dream, I mean a literal dream. Mother. Sorry. Carrots. Nice. Human. This is nice. Mr. Rabbit, I do feel a bit better after that. I am glad to hear that, human. Human, do you wish to talk about why do you think you've been so emotionally injured? Mr. Rabbit, Mr. Rabbit, I'm afraid if I share the reason for my affliction, you will cease to support me and deem me a failure unworthy of life. Human, I am not one of such a simple mind. Clearly what has been afflicting you this gravely must surely be serious enough for a discussion. Mr. Rabbit, I am a coward, and I ran away from battle. Truly, Mr. Rabbit, the very ground from which a dirt resides in has much greater value than myself. Mr. Rabbit, I deserve nothing else other than to lie down here, die, and let the earth have my body. Because then for once... I would be finding something of use in my life. I wish my birth were a choice, Mr. Rabbit. Human. Mr. Rabbit, I can totally understand if you wish to leave my presence right now. Human I. I am in pain too, human. We all know that feel. I am hurting as well. We rabbits are at the bottom of the food chain. We are extremely anxious creatures. We will hide from anything that can be perceived as even the slightest threat. Human, this is the way I am. I often wonder if I'll always live through life like this. Human, I don't want to be scared anymore. I want to learn to trust. I want to feel safe. Will I ever truly be free? Will I overcome these feelings or simply learn to live with them? Human, 
I am tired of running into my burrow all the time. Mr. Rabbit, thank you for not judging me so harshly and for sharing these deeply personal manners. It's... it is no trouble, human. We can often learn a lot from each other. Human, know this. I shall not leave your side. Mr. Rabbit, I must express my thanks again towards you. I hope one day we both may be free from our own faults. These faults may be beyond our control. However, if we are willing and brave enough, we may cut through them. That is correct, Mr. Rabbit. You are very wise, then. And you are a lot braver than you think, human. Never forget that. I say this to you, human, because it is clear to anyone that you are in fact very brave and certainly not worthy of death. Then I must ask, human, what events had transpired to make you think you are a coward? Thank you, Mr. Rabbit. I guess it's appropriate that I share what happened to me. My ears are big and are standing tall. Do tell, human. Well, Mr. Rabbit, this kingdom appears to be having skirmishes with another adjacent kingdom. It had always been my dream to be a knight, and I just became old enough to enlist. It was a perfect opportunity to fulfill my dreams and make a name for myself. Walked right into the guard station to join I did, Mr. Rabbit. Come back here dawn tomorrow and we shall have you fighting on the battlefield in a week, they said. Surely enough, I finished my training. They told me to go home, sleep and report first thing in the morning. The morning came and well... Mr. Rabbit, I don't know what happened, but a very terrible feeling came down upon me. My chest was tight. It became hard to breathe. My stomach felt like a bombless pit, and all I could think about was something along the lines of... Dear Lord, oh help me, oh God, I don't want to get out of here. I don't want to do this, help. So I stayed inside and did not show up as I promised to. So I... So I figured I'd bring some vegetables and some, see some animals in this little trove while I figured some things out. Being a knight is all I ever wanted to be. I knew the dangers that came with such a thing. So how could I have been so scared I could never bring myself to open the door? I hate myself, Mr. Rabbit. I hate myself so much. Don't say that, human. I see someone with a big heart. A strong soul, and most importantly, someone who would make an excellent knight. Do you really believe so, Mr. Rabbit? I know so, human. When a seed is planted, it takes time to grow. It may not be the bale, be able to bear ripe fruit right away. Both humans and animals are no exception to this. Human, you just need more time to bear your fruits. Mr. Rabbit, how right you are once again. I do find myself in agreement with what you said. I am happy to hear that, human. I shall take your advice to heart and plant myself right by your side, Mr. Rabbit. I have no qualms of that, human. By all means, take your time. Well, Mr. Rabbit, I think it's time for me to go. What are you going to do now, human? I shall return home and try to see if they will let me go back into battle, Mr. Rabbit. Um, certainly error. I'm not sure if that's going to... I don't know. If I am banished for my mistake, then so be it. I shall plant myself here until I can make something out. That is a flying plan, human. I commend you for it. And I shall await your return. I will be here in this place for you no matter what. Thank you, emotional guidance, Rabbit. Thank you, Mr. Rabbit. It's been fun. I shall depart now. Once again, I thank you, Mr. Rabbit, from the bottom of my heart. I share the same feelings too, human. Go now, human. Be the best you can possibly be. Same to you, Mr. Rabbit. I bid you farewell. Oh, we came back. Oh no, are we dead? We're like, looks like we're limping. Oh no! No! Hello, Mr. Rabbit. I warned you! I warned you, it's this era! You have a very- There's a reason you have to have a low lifespan. And it's not because everyone's just dying from disease, tickety-talk. It's because of war. If you survive the disease, you survive, like, birth and childhood, you maybe you can let you live just as long as anyone from today's era. But you survive the wars, so that's the tricky part. Hello, human. I am so glad I was able to meet you again, Mr. Rabbit. I seem to have been worried over nothing at all, Mr. Rabbit. When I came back to the military post, they didn't speak a word about my situation. They had me my sword and gear and sent me off to battle. 
I was finally a knight, Mr. Rabbit. It seemed that every mother's son was laid upon that battlefield. It lasted for a while, it did, Mr. Rabbit. But now that I have returned safely, I must say, I am rather tired, Mr. Rabbit. If it's no trouble, I would like to lay down with you once again. Of course, human. You seem to have overcame your doubts, human. I knew you were very brave. It is all thanks to you, Mr. Rabbit. It is all thanks to you. So that's it for a conversation with Mr. Rabbit. So the description of the game says, A Conversation with Mr. Rabbit is a very short linear vision novel with a dark and bloody twist. So, the dark and bloody twist is, uh, we ended up dying. We came back. By all means, we should have been dead before we even got back there. But maybe we are carrying on out of sheer will, or maybe we are a bit of, like, a ghost. I'm trying to think if there's, like, a message to all this. I think partially it's just, it is kind of what it is, because, uh, the rabbit is just talking to, to the knight in a very almost therapeutic way. Like, oh, you're very brave. I believe in you. Almost like a almost like a father, right? But then, like, the rabbit essentially gave advice to send the knight, or the young man, really, to their death. Because they, they do, like, they, they don't just go like, oh, I went to the battlefield. And, like, it was, it was uh, amazing, and I fought with bravery. And they go there... And they, when they go back, it's like, oh, they weren't even angry. Well, because he's a conscript. They're not going to be angry he ran away. Like, he's never meat for the grinder. And they also said, like, well, everyone's sons was out there. Playing, you know, it's war. Everyone's sons, it's, it's a meat grinder. So, maybe Mr. Rabbit's the villain. Maybe Mr. Rabbit has regrets for sending this person out. Or maybe the message is just about conviction. Like, yeah, you got sent to the meat grinder, but... You were very brave, because you, you stuck to your conviction again, even if it might have been the, uh, the flawed thing and the, the flawed choice in the overall big picture. Or like I said at the start, it, it could just be straight, and it's just someone talks to a rabbit and then they die. Uh, it, an odd, not necessarily odd in a weird way, but just in the sense of, uh, it's a sad, quick short story. It gives very conflicting feelings, because you're like, a little warm, I'll go, oh, rabbit, and then it's like, Oh yeah, I'm dead. So, yeah. This is probably usually makes Toho games, by the way. I feel like I should just point that out. But yeah, anyway. So, thank you all for watching play A Conversation with Mr. Rabbit. I'll see you guys later. And take it easy.